Great. Let's get this thing mounted right. Oh. Let's go. Let's take you to the house. MIA, that's the way we take you to the house. You have a side to drive on for. Hello, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Tap it. Tap that thumbs up. And I'll go off in a second as soon as I slap the heat belt on. Give me a second, guys. I'm just trying to get myself situated here. I'm just barely pulling out on this road trip. Um, Odin, big up yourself, Odin. Big up yourself, welcome in. I actually just got back from one road trip. I just got back from St. Elizabeth just now. So I just barely had time to go in the house and just show off, take my gears out of the car and chuck them inside and just head right back out again. Um, next, 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 next filming is coming up next. So I'm gonna be filming this video now, heading into um, Western Negro side. Um, I'm gonna hit that side up real quick linking up with some family members and stuff so this is another road trip river rat big up yourself river rat thank you for jumping in unexpected live i'm normally not doing a live that quick um ashani big up yourself fishing with jeff 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 beal big up yourself it's kind of hard for me to see make sure you guys write in caps for me please <laughs> i think i'm getting old i won't have to become like ernie make everybody write in caps while i'm driving big up yourself man big up yourself kirby big up yourself um, <clears throat> actually heading into Negro Westmoreland side. Um, rolling out now. I just got back from a fishing trip uh, about half an hour ago, not even that much. So I had to just clear my memory cards off the other cameras and stuff real quick. And just basically shoot out because I'm actually late. I was supposed to be back here at 2 p.m. and I came back here at like 3 p.m. And then now I have a 45 minute drive to drive to that side of the island. Um, I probably catch the sunset, which it will be about 5:30. So I should be right on time for dinner and a sunset. So how about that? But this is Montego Bay that I'm in now, the main main corridor, um, <clears throat> Howard Cook Boulevard we call it. <clears throat> so this heads down to like Fairview side, then I have to shoot it on the main road, on the coastline all the way down to Negril on along the coast. So it should be a very beautiful sunset because we have a good sun out today. So hopefully we can catch that on the way down, right? But um, went on a trip yesterday, went on a trip this morning and did real hot yesterday, personally. I was hitting back to back. Um, we was using live bait. We wasn't using cut bait this time or shrimp or anything like that, just straight live bait. It was mostly live bait and lower fishing. And that one was what was really doing it yesterday and caught ourselves some nice amount of fish yesterday but um today I didn't do so hot but my friends was catching five pounders ten pounders they was going on good it was catching fish today but I don't know why what was going on with me today for some reason it was just wasn't my catching day today but I did get some good footage um, got some excellent videos coming up for you guys I haven't even gotten a chance to edit any of the videos yet because I've been so busy. But big up yourself, curbside adventure for adventure for adventure. Big up yourself. Thank you guys for jumping in on such no short notice. Um, this was an unexpected live instead of just doing a video. I said, you know what? Let me just do a live on this. This will be even better. You can actually get to see the live road trip while I'm going down. I'm going to be cruising down, taking my time. I'm not even in a rush. Um, it's a holiday here in Jamaica. And the roads are really really busy and hectic today so everybody's out on the beach every single beach in Jamaica is ram-packed I came all the way from st. Elizabeth side I was down on the south coast of Jamaica this morning I left out around 3 a.m. 
got to the south coast, we started fishing right away by 6 a.m. Like 5.30, 6 a.m. we was on site. And <clears throat> the weather was awesome. But from where we were, we was in some mangroves in the swamps where there's a lot of crocodiles. So nobody really comes back there to swim. So from that distance, I can look at the beach and all you can see is these little dots, little heads in the water. And I'm like, damn, that's a lot of people. Um, everybody pretty much came out today on the holidays. Pretty much it's a beach day in Jamaica. Everybody's hitting the beach. Um, I, I pretty much did that yesterday. While I was after my fishing trip, I stopped at the HQ, which is our um, HQ Airbnb. And Benji, big up yourself. Thank you for coming in, Benji. Thank you, thank you. One love for the holiday, Benji. Thank you much for jumping in. Um, let me see if I can add you as a mod here, Benji, so you can just jump around everybody's channel. Okay, got you as a mod. So it's a holiday here, Easter holiday here in Jamaica, and it is turned up you know what i'm saying and i feel like i'm 16 again i'll tell you that much river rat i'm not an old man <laughs> but i feel like i'm 16 years old i just don't i mean the, the, like just getting back out with nature like the last two days like especially where i went to fish there is no population for miles meaning there's no houses or nothing for miles and it was just awesome. I, I just got to show you. I got to share this footage with you guys from today. Because I walked, literally took my shoes off, barefoot, and walked this beach for miles by myself. I was kind of paranoid because I know the crocs are behind in the mangrove and they come to the salt water. But I don't think they would have bothered me in the daytime like that, in bright, bright, bright sunlight like that. They wouldn't be out where I was at today. So I kind of like wasn't too paranoid but I kept on being aware looking behind me each time I was walking up the beach and um, because they're there and we know they're there so it makes no sense ignoring that that sign because you will get bitten or eaten um, if you stumble up on one of them by accident if they didn't hear you coming first you know because normally they run by the time they hear you and they have very acute sense of hearing I mean, old man truck, big, 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 bless up yourself, old man. All right, I didn't, I didn't even see when you came in the room because I'm kind of moved at the same time. I think this phone is, but awesome, awesome phone for videoing. And um, yeah, man, just cruising along here, heading out of town. And I'm trying to get down to the grill and get some dinner with my family. My daughter is already there ahead. They're on the beach. They're swimming on the beach down there. And um. I'm okay, I'm like 45 minutes. I, I couldn't even tell you how far I was offhand, but I'll see the sign down here in a minute and it'll give me the exact distance that I am. I think it's like 73 kilometers. I'm not sure. So let's see how that goes. I wanted to stop at a gas station here, but I'll just wait till I get down the road because it's going to be on my side. Instead of crossing the highway to come back on this side again. Yeah, and we drive on the left-hand side of the road, right-hand side steering wheel. It's crazy. I had, I mean, adjusting from the left-hand steering wheel to the right-hand steering wheel. I mean, it wasn't that difficult. It's just same thing. It just judgment is just know that it's left and right. So, yep. So I'm looking at the sign, and they're trying to get the exact distance if they're going to show a sign. this here yeah I'm not moving that it's just full funny Kirby I am not moving that fast I'm actually cruising but I'm not good normal not not like I normally drive yeah same side as the UK but it's just I mean it's just simple to get used to both sides because I've driven both sides so I mean I've driven trailers that's on the left and um, Larry's what you call it in the UK uh, I've been driving Larry's. I drove Larry's for 21 years. So that was something that I enjoyed doing. Eight million miles under my belt traveling across countries. So that was pretty awesome. But, um, these are all the parties that are coming up. You see these big signs out there? All the new parties that are coming up for April and stuff like that. So they post them up. So there's a lot of party, party events in Jamaica at times.
and I'm moving just barely 70 kilometers right now. I'm really not moving that fast. I'm just cruising along. <clears throat> so you can see our lush green hills, hilltops. Everybody building houses on them. So I'll give you guys a little insights on parts of Jamaica that you've probably never seen before. So out here is our um, ATL city center on the left here, this um, plaza. This is where we have our BMWs and um, our Range Rovers, our Porsches and stuff like that. That you can buy those kind of vehicles here. You know? Yes, Reggae Sound Clash. We have those here. As a matter of fact, um, Kirby, we was um, part of the World Clash, um, Death Before Dishonor. Um, our sound system because we have a sound system here in Mobe it's called Olympic music and um, family sound and we played the sound for the world clash 1 through 10 uh, we were the console we provided console and sound for the world clash and um, death before dishonor so you can look it up on YouTube and you'll see our console on the stage and everything and our team most of our team is on stage at all times so um, I'm part of the music industry just as well here. I just kind of slowed up on it because it wasn't really what I wanted to do, like full time. So, um, fun. Got a lot of fame out of it, but it's just that the money wasn't really there, the type of money that I wanted to make. You know what I mean? Seaside Drift, Grill, big up yourself, thank you. Welcome in. Yeah, man. Um, welcome into the channel so you can jump around, link up with everybody. Make sure you guys hook up with each other if you haven't already. Um, jump over to each other's channel and subscribe and link up. And share each other out. Don't cost anything. And I guarantee it will help you grow. <clears throat> yeah. This is good parts of the roads. <laughs> you should have seen what I had to drive through today. It's crazy. So um, the potholes was ridiculous where I had to drive up on top of the hill because I had to go over this hill to cross the island. And when you go across the top of the hill, the roads up there are horrendous. It was crazy today. Um, the potholes, I don't understand how the hell the road get like that, that bad. And even this have one or two, but it's not that bad as you think it is. if they're open and I'll just or I'll just hit the next one down the road I actually used to live out this side it was really nice and quiet but you know the highway didn't really do justice at all be next to your house yeah it's pretty cool man it's pretty cool living in J all right this where they're building some twin towers right here on the right hand side right here the Chinese are building they have um I forgot the name of that company but they're actually, I'm gonna actually take this gas station. They said, the pig washes in the first mud holes that he comes to and never passes it. So guess what? We're gonna wash in the mud hole and get some gas. And make sure that we're topped up for any trip. And yeah, this is how our gas stations are set up. This is not one of the greatest, but it's all right. It's okay. Normally I go to my local one. That's back my side but let's get down here on one of these end pumps and see if we can get some gas <laughs> okay here we go all right let me see if we get some blue mountain kitchen big up yourself thank you for coming in and um curbside let me see what you said fill it up please 90 huh? fill it up on 90 please Yes, no card. Card machine Really? All right, never mind. I'll go to the next gas station. Okay. This is one of those things that you face in Jamaica at times. <laughs> like, really? Okay, guess not. I'll just move to the next one. There's one down the road. It's not that far, and I got enough. I'm pretty cool. I have enough to make the trip, but I just don't like making a trip without topping up. That's just me. You know what I mean? Um, 
Oh, Stone Love is pretty cool. Awesome guys. I know them personally. I met with them a couple of times. We actually played um we played a party. We actually played a party with um Stone Love before. And I have they had been in my community for a while because my, my friend used to have an annual party that they played every year. And I've been in events with them, um, Bass Odyssey, um, Junior Radigan, and um, a couple other big sounds. And big selectors and stuff like that. So that was pretty awesome, doing that kind of stuff. And you look, big up yourself and you look. Yeah, man. So Blue Mountain, big up yourself. <laughs> Wow, yeah, 90, 90, 90, boy, I tell you something, the gas prices here are ridiculous. I just, and today I didn't really want to drive so far on this fishing trip because I knew I had this trip to make. And I was like, damn, you know what? The bait fish are running down there. You better get down there because the, the wait till you see the next video that I got for you guys. I actually flew the drone up on some scouting, searching for the bait fish and the predatorial fish. And I found them. Got down to about 40 feet in the air off the top of the water and had that um, vertical shot from um, the mini the mini pro and had that vertical shot down on it. And I tell you something, I got a clear, clear, awesome view off the fish in the water eating the bait fish. And they were like going haywire. I actually hooked up on one of them twice. Um, I got I landed one and one of them got away from me because I was too late to pick him up before when he hit the bait fish. But he hit the bait fish so hard, it's like he crushed his skull. Um, I don't know how that hook missed. If I'm getting, you see, this is like a public beach area right here. And look how crowded it is. And this is a local spot where local people come to swim, not like a public beach where um, it's open to like major, major public. These are like local people that just come here and park on the side of the road in a nice little sand spot and it's our, their traditional thing to do. So now, I, c I can imagine what Negril looks like. That's gonna be crazy. I know on a day like today, what? Psycho. Oh, look at this. This is a Porsche Cayenne right here, nice. Ooh, hot doggy. Yeah. So, yeah, Jamaica has some nice vehicles too, guys. Yeah, 40 liters man I mean the liters here I think it's like um, $223 per liter here in Jamaica right now on 90 and I think it's like 219 or something like that for 87 it's crazy it's ridiculous the cost of living here is yeah it's kind of high because remember we live on an island and a lot of stuff got to get imported I wish it wasn't that way, but unfortunately it is. We're, we're our own, like we have our stuff here that we, we build ourselves and stuff. We need a lot more self-sufficient, which is that's kind of difficult. But um, it's expensive. I'll just wait till I get to the next one. I just don't like walking around with a whole pocket full of cash at times on the road. That makes no sense. I mean, the majority of the places you see cards. So you just tap your card and keep it moving. Yeah. yeah guys, so nice little Sunday cruise. I mean Monday. Yeah, Monday afternoon, Monday evening cruise. Live and direct. So tap up the lights guys please. Come to the border of St. James already. That's how quickly. Inez, hello, bless up yourself. You know what I'm saying? Tired. Yeah, this is the border of St. James now. Big stone wall sign. I'll slow down a bit so you guys can see it properly. It says, Welcome to Hanover on the left and on the right. Boom. So we 
just cross the border on this bridge. So the river, Great River, um, goes underneath. And I fish down here for snooks. I'm sure you guys seen the video where I'm fishing for snooks. As a matter of fact, there's people down there fishing right now. And I've done lives here before on my TikTok. Yes, Ines, bless up yourself, Ines. Thank you for jumping in. Tap up that like button for me, please, if you guys can. Hoping that we can get a few more people in. This is an unexpected live. It was never expected for me to do a live today, but I said, you know what? I'll just push out a live today for you guys. Why not? On this journey. I have my fishing rod in the trunk, by the way. And I do have my tackle bag. I did not leave that stuff behind, and I will not leave that stuff behind. I took out my heavy gears, like my 10-foot pole, my 8-foot pole, and my other 7-footers. Because I had five rods with me on the beach earlier today. So I just took them out, my cooler, and some other things. I did an awesome catch and cook today, though. Catch and cook on the beach. Roasted them up. Really, really nice. So, this is Round Hill. This is a hotel that they call Round Hill. Um, designed by Ralph Lauren. That's what they say. I mean, which and I've been there. I've stayed there before. And I actually stayed there for my honeymoon. Um, for my wedding, wedding night. And it was pretty awesome. Um, trust me, nothing like it. I've never been someplace so plushy yet in my life. I mean, it's crazy. Ralph Lauren slippers, robe, sheets, curtains, towels. It was all designed by him. So, pretty plushy stuff. So we're entering the town of Hopewell now. Um, it's a little congested at times, but they have a few potholes and this corner gets really bad. I actually had a bad accident down here one time, right in this corner. A big truck came around the corner on me. Um, so it was an option, take wall or take truck. So it was take wall, because there was nothing, there's no space. When a trailer comes around this corner right here. Yep, no space. So he has to open up for the next one and close on this one by the time he opens up for the next one. So I'm coming up at 3 o'clock in the morning, boy. And whammo. There you go. Put some clothes on, lady. Damn. She got that double whopper. Speedy, you flew around me to do what here? Oh, oh boy, Let's see what I gotta put up with. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna catch the next gas station, which is coming up on the left. This is town of Hopewell, by the way. Next upcoming town would be Sandy Bay, and after Sandy Bay, it would be. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but didn't see you. A whole bunch of goats in the road. Yeah, next town is coming up. I fish this area hardcore, guys. You guys should have seen a lot of videos that I do down here. I just don't put the trips because it's just a waste of memory card for me to drive. I mean, I drive this all the time. But on a live, that's different. It's not really taking up much on my memory cards. It's actually going to be saved onto YouTube directly. Let me get around this guy in a minute. Makes no sense because I'm pulling off anyways, so let him go. Yeah. Yeah, in the States this little truck wouldn't be on the road for sure. DOT be having a lot of rules and regulations here. Alright, look at the price on the gas right here. Alright, we're gonna go on this one. Holy shit, 219 for 87, 227 for 90. Holy shit, that's high. That's crazy. Uh, I bet you're gonna say their fucking card machine not working either. 
Sorry, Rastaman, go ahead and get in your car. I'll let you get in. You came over a little bit too close on this side, buddy. Uh, let me get show you right. Get me some gas. How you doing? Fill it up on 90, please. Huh? Fill it up on 90, please. 90? Yeah. Pull up? Mm -hmm. Or you're paying cash or card? 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 Credit card? No, my debit. Debit, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. So that's, that is it, guys. Let me flip this around a sec so you guys don't be looking at the board outside. Pick up yourself, guys. What's up? Definitely, definitely, guys. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, it's a sunny afternoon, it's nice. Um, seaside Drift, pick up yourself. I'm actually going down to Negril, man. I'm gonna go down and have dinner with my family. They, they wanna go down to this place called the Drifters. Drifters Bar or something like that, a restaurant. Or we might end up at Bourbon Beach or Cuyaba, one of them places. I mean, I know there pretty well. I'm there for Mocha Fest every year. And if you guys wanna check out a hot party event, if you're a person that loves partying, um, check out Mocha Fest. Mocha Fest is coming up. It's coming up in May. And um, the end of May going into June is 10 parties, um, five nights, five, five days for the week, um, two parties per day, one at 11 a.m. in the day, goes on to the afternoon, and there's another one at 11 o'clock at night, and it goes on. So, no, no cell service, you can't, not here, mm -mm. none of that. You, you, you sit in your car and have them pump your gas and fill your tank up. When they get done, you just pay your money and keep it moving. So, um, yeah, not, not, they don't allow you to do that in Jamaica. Uh, I don't know why, but I guess they cut that stuff out. Yeah, they have attendance at every pump, and they pump your gas for you. So, yeah, man. Um, Seiko, outdoors, big up yourself. I'm actually on my way down to Westmoreland, Negro side. Um... I'm gonna try to catch that sunset. Awesome sunset that we're supposed to be getting this evening, you know? But what I don't like about this, this, um, the full service thing is that a lot of the attendants are not like, how you say, customer service wise? Like, let's say you're outside pumping gas, 90% of the gas attendants that's in the States that work on the pump or Canada or wherever, they would clean the windshields and, you know, check the oils and stuff like, stupid stuff like that. Like just to get a tip because you know they they they're gas attendant they really don't make that much money so you know a tip would help and whatever the case might be in those cases but um but like I said I just don't really say anything because some people might take it offended you know just keep it moving but it is a very sunny day it's nice I'm burned up from the sun from today look at me. I'm my big hat, I don't know what Laurie did with it. It was never washed. And I don't think I was gonna wear it smelling like that with all that sweat in it. And then even my other one that I had earlier, sweat was all in it and I had to take it off. I think I have my head strap with me in my bag here along with my other camera, which in, I should have been, I have this clean and it's ready to go. So I have a couple of my gears with me, camera gears to do a video event in case anything down there. But other than that, this is just the drive now, so you guys can see what's up. Some cool places and awesome scenery going down, and I'll definitely try to make sure you guys see that. But what I'm trying to catch is that sunset. No, that's quite fine. Huh? That's fine. I'm up there, so you're going to run the car doing. I gotta go in there. Up at this small small window up there. Because we're not having the machine. Okay, thank you. Mean, Alright, go ahead, please. I'm gonna get out the car and go to a cash machine to pay out of goddamn window. You know something that's inconvenienced? <laughs> that's crazy. Alright, let me go. Let me go park up there. This sucks that I gotta do this. So now I have to park here and go up to the stupid window and pay for my gas. Which I didn't want to come out the car. But Let's go do it anyways, you guys are gonna go with me. Uh, shut my car off, let you guys go with me and see how stupid this is. That'd be funny if I had left my wallet, right? No, it would not be. Okay. 
need an ID for gas? No. Oh, credit card. So, yeah, so you guys can get to see what's going on. I think I'm out and over there. Yeah, guys, pick up yourselves. Yeah, only slightly cheaper, Kirby, for fuel here. No, they don't have much of that here. Thank you. You guys here? There you go. Yeah? Yeah, I think she said that to you. I think we're gonna go in the store and grab ourselves a Red Bull for the ride. Seven. Yes, please. Okay. Sorry, you guys, let me do this. That's better than over. Uh -uh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a red bull for the ride. We've been on the road all day. Don't worry. Files, pick up yourselves. Well, let's grab one of these. Yeah. No need on. Dress up yourselves. Wap, wap, wap. I'm actually getting peanuts and Red Bull for the trip. Some of them munch onto the road. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright. We ready for the road, guys. Alright, take care. Yep, yep. Yeah. Now for the non-stop ride down. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this put down there. Guys, back up here. Get my charger plugged in. Make sure this thing changed charged. Sorry about that, guys. And get this locked in. Make sure this is locked properly. Yeah, I don't want this thing falling out. I've had it fall out a couple of times on me before, guys, and it was not nice. It just sucks. So. Let's get this back in. And get back on. Yeah. Now we're on the road again, guys. So, we'll flip this around for you guys. Let's see what's going on. I think this guy's ready to merge out yet. What are you doing? Left, right? Where are you going, buddy? Uh, this guy's not going out. He just stops at the exit and just blocks the fucking view. I'm not smart. Excuse my language. Alright, now you guys are going to get to see all the beaches and all the water and all the stuff because we're right on the coast. And I'll actually give the camera a little twist so you can see to the right because the coast is to our right hand side. Everything's going to be to our right pretty much. Um, so, there's a whole swim that, that in the morning. And you got sound system. It's a public holiday, and this is what happens in Jamaica. 
So, yeah, man, this is this, 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 this a crazy. So. Trying to get my peanuts too hot on me. I just seen that crater. I seen that same hole giving two people flat tires already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Bud files, bless up yourself, bud files. Welcome. guys are talking to me please write it in caps so I can see it better because the fine the fine writing is like giving me a hard time it makes it easier for me to see now we're in Tri Hall still in Hanover Parish we in Tri Hall um, this is where Lennox Lewis Jamaican boxer lives and try all try all golf um, golf resort or golf um, it's actually a golf course but it has a whole bunch of villas and houses on it and you can't really drive around on there with your car you got to park your car down here in the parking lot and then you drive the golf carts on the property so call um, yeah try all the water wheel down here too the original old-fashioned water wheels Guy fishing in, in the pothole. <laughs> that pothole was deep. That was really deep, Kirby. You gotta see another one down here. There's a couple of them down the road down here too. I mean, I know where they are. It's just you'd memorize them so that you don't bust tires and it costs you a freaking hundred bucks to change a tire. But it's no good, especially at nights where there's a there's no divider. And they drive with their high beams. Holy smokes. That is totally anal right there. Remember that last video I was giving seafood and drinks? Um, lessons. And I caught the barrel and the jackfish. It was right down here. It was on the right hand side. Right where you see this car parked at. A little bit further down. <laughs> Right. The next set of cars that you see parked up is right in that spot. This is where I catch that barra and um, that jackfish. Because I hunt this coast all the way to Negril. I work this coast pretty hard. Because I know where they're at. I mean, like, I have good... Look, these are beaches and they're all packed. There's no parking. And these are not normal public beaches. These are just regular spots on the side of the ocean that people just park up and just swim. Because they probably live close by or something like that. And, you know? Not everybody drives at the same pace, guys. So, sometimes you have to do this. Go around them. fish this wall before but it's pretty shallow on the other side yeah this is why they drive slow these guys because they put down 50 series low profile tires and they can't really drive over these bumps like that with 50 series tires they'll get bent so they have to literally crawl when they're driving down the road I don't understand why would you do that knowing the terrain On the wrong 
the side of the car, but I don't know. Come to the potholes. Make up. Not you know. Try that someplace else. I mean, it, there, yeah. But here, you'll be waiting forever. <laughs> you even get a coin. Here goes one more right here. Real deep. Snook spot coming up. I fish down here a lot too. This is like one of my HQ spots. I seen another channel go down here one day and said nothing was going on, but you gotta know the spot to fish it. Yep, my all having parties over there. A pothole here. Good luck to you, Kirby. You're on your own. Can't claim nothing from no council here. I heard it done. Look at this stupid idiot. He's in the road jumping out at cars. Did you guys just see that shit? I'm wondering what was he doing. Have you seen that? Yo, that was weird as shit. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> On Easter, he's out there doing stuff like, like that. And then he jumped at the next car behind me. That's crazy. So this is Mosquito Cove. Here in, um, they have a really nice seafood spot jerk center right here that they just built recently. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you look, I'm out here, man. I'm heading to um, Westmoreland side. I'm all right. It's just that dude a while ago, either he was drinking, smoked something he wasn't supposed to be smoking, or he, his head is just short, two slices of a cheese, short of a picnic. So... I'm like, wow, man, that was crazy. Now my eye. But um, I'm halfway through the journey now. I'm almost done this journey, really. I'm just got a few bad spots here to go through. I'm actually driving on the other side because my side is very bad. Went back on my side now. that I caught those jacks was down this side. Um, where I caught the five jacks, the four jacks back to back. And I jumped off that cliff. It was all the way down here. Where I caught the hound fish along that wall. That's actually coming up. Because that's right there by Dolphin oh. Cove. Where you can swim with the dolphins down the side. on time. 
That's Dolphin Cove that I just passed right there where you can swim with the dolphins. They used to have camels in the stall up here. I don't know what happened with them anymore. I haven't seen them in a long time. I don't know what would camels be doing in Jamaica anyways. But here on this stretch, you got to be really careful when driving. Because there's livestock that cross, goats and cows and shit. So you got to be careful, extremely careful. If any of you have been to um, Jamaica before, which in a few of you guys have said it to me that you've been to Jamaica before, you have the Grand Palladium Hotel coming up. I believe I had somebody said that they stayed at the Grand Palladium before, which is coming up on the right right here. Um, one of my other subscribers I've picked up here also stood here at the Grand Palladium too. Oh, here goes the coastline right here, guys. This is pretty awesome right here. Get this camera turned a bit for you guys. Yeah. That, that is the Grand Palladium Hotel, the Baya Principe. It's huge! Hey, big up yourself, big up yourself. Anything possible, anything's possible. Mess up yourself, brother. We're on a road trip to Negro. Jamaica, and this was the Grand Palladium J Jamaica uh, Resort and Spa. Check it out on the internet. Look it up. Awesome hotel. It's just the only thing about it is it's just 20 minutes, 30 minutes outside of Montego Bay. Which, in when the time comes, if you want to go into the nightlife vibes in Montego Bay, then then you know that's on a different ball game because then you have to bust it into Montego Bay or take a cab if you're staying out here. That's the only downfall to it case you want to go into town and hang out for the night and stuff like that you literally have to schedule yourself the right way yeah man so coming up to Lucy Hanover that's where I caught that those jacks in Lucy I actually caught them on Fort Charlotte on the other side of this cove because we're gonna go around a cove like a horseshoe cove right now this is a molasses pier right here that I'm passing on the right and um, I go around to this cove into the town, and once I exit that town, I'm like less than 20 minutes away from the grill. That's how smooth it is to drive down there, really, after that. It's just that town is a cluster freak. And um, it has a lot of traffic in there because of the fact of um, the potholes and the long stretch that always floods out. This Every time we get a heavy, heavy rainfall in Jamaica, like island wide, this town floods. It just fills with water. You have to go around, way around to get out of there. This sucks. But, um, I've been through it twice that I had to go back into Green Island and drive all the way around back to Ferris and um, go, go up um, and come down Long Hill on the other side of the, on the top side of the, So you basically go back on the other side of the coast and come back on this side real quick. We got somebody up here loudly gagging. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh boy. Yeah, let me get my drink out before it gets hot. Yeah, man, big up yourself. Oh, Jason and Tina, big up yourself. Gina, big up yourself. Welcome in. Welcome in, on my way to Negril. You remember that song? I want to go to Negril. Boom, boom, boom. Trip to Mobe. On the way to Negril. Negril, Jamaica. I want to eat some food with my fam. Chill out. Link up with the rest of my fam for the holidays. And um, have dinner. And probably, you know, kick back. Relax a little bit. Enjoy a bar. Freedom of living in Jamaica. What is it? Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely, bro. The outside, man. We're going into the town of Lucy Hanover. It's an old historic town, too. A lot of the old buildings are still standing. Developed this town fully yet like that, but 
it's, it's getting there. All these outer skirts towns, like outside of Mobe, is developing very fast, though, rapidly growing. Oh, yeah, this is a beautiful drive. I'm just cruising, dude, drinking a Red Bull. <laughs> I'm just cruising. I stopped at the gas station, got some gas, got a Red Bull and a peanut. I said, all right, I have myself some peanuts and a Red Bull and just take my time right down the road. Nothing too heavy that I won't fill myself up before dinner. So on the left here, you see my friend that has this little tent on the left. He not only sells boiled land crabs, he makes an awesome crab. If you're ever on your way through and passing through, he has his stall right here. He sets up the boiled crab and sells on the side of the road. It's traditional every year he's out. Um, around going into May, June, July, August in crab season. Crab season here is every month without the letter R. Yeah, man. So we're just passing Lucy's Seventh-day Adventist Church. Look at that pothole the size of that. Holy crap. Ouch. Mm -hmm. I'm stay in the left. You have to just take your time and go through them sometimes. Three people in the room, guys, tap up that screen for me, please. Make sure you tap up that like button when you come in. I was hoping to get a lot more people in. Yeah, man, the sunset, that's what I'm trying to catch. I'm trying to catch that sunset in the grill, Jason and Gina. I'm trying to get down there on time to sit down and have that ambience of eating dinner and that sunset. That'd be awesome. But this town has a little bit of congestion, so it takes a bit of time to get through it. And then, I'm not the only one that's late. My cousin's behind me. He's about an hour behind me. I think I think he's going to be extremely late to come down and catch the sunset. Hey, Ray Ray, if you're listening, pick up yourself. I hope you reach out on time. I'm already in Lucy. <laughs> and it was that big sign says Negril. So everybody's out selling their drinks and have their little jerk pan out. And whoever, who's not in swimsuits is in whatever, you know? It is what it is. They actually got a Burger King here in Lucy now. That's great. It wasn't here, it wasn't here 10 years ago, I'll tell you that much. The officer's doing spot check. Checking papers. That's an old building right here. The Hanover Municipal Building. Look at that old limestone building. And look at this old building right here. The Hammond Bakery is still in board on top. These are some old designs, man. They just refurbished some of them. And um, I love seeing historic buildings. You know what I'm saying? But here goes that old limestone building right here on the left. It's like a church or something of the sort, I think. Yeah, United Lucy United Church. And there goes some more of these old board buildings too again. I remember buildings like this growing up when I was here, younger with my grandfather. The building was just like that, the board buildings. And then we eventually evolved. So we are we out of the town now. That's how small this town is. At Fort Charlotte now. traveling in the line of traffic and I'll get some stretch that I can actually go around these slower vehicles later but not now
Bless up, bless up, bless up. Thank you for coming in. Adventure America, big up yourself. Thank you for coming in. Alright, now I have space to go around these guys. I'm on the room. to get around that long line of traffic because I just don't like tra traveling in a, the cluster we call it kind of like solo riding down the road by myself I really don't like the cluster because they make one mistake and that's it they're hit everybody in the road is hit there's only one lane you can't go nowhere so I try to get away from everybody guys and just keep it moving they're just sitting there lollygagging like they don't have anywhere to go at all. At least do the damn speed limit. That sun is waiting for me. He's not going to drop down yet. You guys going to stay with me and watch this. You're going to love this, guys. I'm going to hit that beach right on time. And I'm probably going to get a drone shot today. Yeah. Fly the drone. All right. We're approaching Bulls Bay. This is where I caught a whole bunch of jacks, too, the other day. Also, I did a few video shoots down here. Where I did on Bulls Bay Beach. And over. Officer, I see you a long time ago. Why are you gonna stop me for, boy? Who? Me? <laughs> what? Good day, sir. How you doing? Let me see him one more. Let me see him one more. You see him one? Who is he? Who is he? Mr. Lynchu. Mm -hmm. Montego, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, speed. That's how we stop to catch up the speed again. Hope so. Mm, I'm gonna say I overtake my makeup, officer. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Still, didn't mean to do that. Still, I was I'm just on, okay, um cannabis industry. Cannabis. Yeah. Where, where you have the business? Up by Hunt Grove, Hanover. Oh, oh you had the place. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, stretch. Um, that side. Okay, okay. Good stuff. What must you do now, Mr. Eh? What do you do now? Huh? What must I do with you now? Give me a break today, sir. Give me a break. Yes, sir. Because I didn't mean to do that. I just actually went around a vehicle a while ago. Alright. Alright. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. See that guy? He's just be nice. And you'll be alright. Don't be hard. You don't get a ticket. He didn't catch me speeding, I know that, but I'm not even going to argue with him, guys. He did not catch me speeding. I know him very well, and I know all of them very well. He didn't catch me speeding, but we all know how that goes. I saw him from about a mile out. My eyesight, boy, is crazy. I saw him, and I broke it down, all the way down to, to like 50, and I'm like sitting there looking at him. He's like, stop. I'm like, what are you stopping me for, dude? I'm cruising. Well, he could have caught that. <laughs> That's crazy. And I ended up back behind the damn slow vehicle that I went around before. God damn it. I didn't want to be around these guys because they're not driving on the road pretty good guys. So I want to go back around these guys again and keep it moving. Uh, yeah, I'm turning up here. All right, good. He's out of the way. Uh, let's go. Let's get around this. This guy in the Nissan right here is really holding up the traffic. I have to get around him. Because if not, I'll sit here all day at 40 going down the road and can't get to where I'm going. It was another one. Jesus Christ. He's 
smoking a big head spliff in his mouth and don't care about nothing. You guys know how Jamaican cops are. They're pretty cool. Awesome guys. Big up yourself, JCF. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. Give me a break. Awesome guys. Love the way you approach though. TV, big up yourself. Outside, I don't know, in I Westmoreland side now. I think I'm Green Island over there already. Heading down the line. I just actually, um, friggin', I got stopped by cops a while. I was saying I was speeding, but I mean, like I said, who was gonna argue with nobody? Just ask for a break. That sometimes is just the best thing to do, guys. Just be nice, man. Can't be you aggressive with people, you're gonna get aggression. So that's the best thing to do, just be very nice, be polite. Even though you're probably upset that you're being stopped, just be nice and be polite. It pays off at the end of the day. And if he really wanted to be anal, he could have and just wrote a ticket and said, I'm not talking to you, just write the ticket and call it a day. You know what I mean? Jason and Gina, big up yourself, enough respect, same way. Yeah man, thank you for coming over, appreciate you. Thank you, thank you Jason and Gina, definitely. Jason and Gene is an awesome channel, guys. Make sure you guys jump over to their channel and check it out. I'm always on there live. I'm always jumping over there, chit-chatting with them and stuff like that. Awesome couple. I like their energy. I'm saying? Special K, big up yourself. Special K, bap, 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 bap. Special K, I'm taking it in the grill with me. Come on, Special K, we're going in the grill. We're on our way down the line, girl. Big up yourself. Yeah, I'm on. We're almost there too, that's so funny. That sun is trying to race against me, but because I changed direction, I'm no longer facing it. But it's not at the water yet. That sun is still about a good ways up. So, I'm gonna hit it. We got a bus turning down here to the right. Go ahead, there's nothing coming, dude. What are you waiting on? Like, really? He has to literally stop before he turns. But this is another cool spot down here. This is an awesome cool spot. I caught snappers in this spot right here. To the right, guys, you can't see it because it's down in a dip. And um, awesome, awesome snapper spot. 10 pounds, 15 pounds snappers. I actually ate a snapper today. We caught a red snapper today. I threw him on the grill right away. He was still slopping when I got at him. I actually threw them on the grill, roast them. It wasn't a grill, I had to get some sticks and make a makeshift grill and thing and smoke it for a little while until it got cooked and I was like, all right, awesome, awesome vibes. Yeah, man, definitely. We're on our way down, heading down to the grill. Chilling out, I'm gonna eat some dinner, um, catch the sunset and just kick it. I just got back from a fishing trip. I haven't even been home for like 20 minutes. I had to just shower, put on clothes and just leave. Because I was, wasn't was supposed to be fishing today and I forced it and I went and I ended up having to do both of them at the same thing that I didn't want to do. Yeah man, definitely. Thank you Special K, appreciate it. Adventure America blessings. Thank you. And who I haven't caught as a mod yet, I'll get you in a second. Just kind of moving, so it's Yeah, guys, please like up the live, please. Tap it up. Adventure time. So my cousin Ray Ray is supposed to be coming from this, look at this dummy on the bike, wow. My cousin's supposed to be meeting me, my other cousin's supposed to be meeting me down here too. I'm 
he's behind me about an hour. I guess that's how far he is. But um, I just hope he meets it on time before they decide to leave down there because it gets a little bit, you know, there goes that sun. The sun hasn't gone down, guys. We're still doing good timing, guys. Damn good timing in Green Island. Industry Cove, yeah, that's where we're at. And then this Green Island, about two minutes. that slow truck that we passed earlier they're building a massive hotel down here too guys um, massive massive hotel down here some kind of building rich and leo bless up bless up rich and leo bless up yourself thank you rich and leo for jumping in And Leo, my brother from another mother, man. Mess up yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm always watching Rich and Leo fishing, man, all the time. I've been out this weekend, hardcore, since Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the way back till today, guys. I haven't had no time to really sit around and come here too tough. Um, been out filming myself, hardcore. Try, just trying to get all these videos in put as much as I can in so I can have them up, scheduled, and ready for you guys to watch. Yeah, so. Even this little town right here is developing fast. My friend put, went upstairs on his building. This is Green Island, guys. We're gonna come up to the town of Green Island, which is not that big of a town. You sneeze here under the other side already, so. A cove just like Lucy just as well you just go around the cove so we go in and out of these coves because they're erosion and cross a few rivers too so man I can smell all the jerk chicken and jerk pork all that stuff on the side of the road man that smell of food is killing me Holy smokes, and it's making me hungry too. There goes the fish gods talking to me again, guys. See? You know what the fish gods are saying to me? Stop and throw your lure right here. You're going to catch a barracuda. I'm like, no, you got to go to dinner and stop it. <laughs> stop doing that. I should never have brought a fishing rod and tackle bag in the damn car with me. Now I have voice is telling me to stop and we're not gonna stop we're not gonna do that ouch that was a deep hole holy smokes look at that yeah we're not gonna stop and throw a line there uh, even though i've done it before but we're not gonna do it we're on timing so we're coming up to the we just finished the town of green island pretty much finished the town of green island going to the orange bay now and then to negril I choose to stop on a hilltop. Little slower, but yeah. Ooh, ooh. Almost there, guys. Mm -hmm. Team Chef J, big up yourself, Team Chef. Bless, bless, blap, blap, blap. Exited Green Island, guys. All right. We call it Duro Road, what's that? Yeah, man. Now we named Duro Road, Jamaican shore fishing. Duro Road, hard. Run with the thing, guys. Damn, I can smell the swamp gas coming out of the swamp. Ooh, smell like somebody farted. That's not. finished with Orange Bay we in the town of Orange Bay now and this is where Half Moon Beach Resort is guys yeah man 
Make sure you guys jump over each other's channel, guys, and link up with each other, guys, please. Make sure you tap that thumbs up, guys. Awesome, awesome journey here with me. Appreciate you guys. Thank all you guys for jumping in, Team Chef Life. Let's okay. Hey, Team Chef Life, I have some fish for us to make up, dude. I don't know if you have time this week or any time this week, but we need to shoot a video together if you get a chance to. Um, I can definitely have some real good fish that I've caught this weekend, so let's link up. <clears throat> hey, you gotta see that. Um, Jamaican Adventures, big up yourself. Hakeem, big up yourself, brother. One love, bro. I, Bro, I wish you was with us yesterday and today. I told you to reach me, man. I told your action today and yesterday, like, whoa, bro, we was using live bait. We brought the cast net and the live, the live well. I have the aerator pumps and everything running today. I had the live bait, like, whoa, man. Running live bait on the hooks, picking up tarpons. Um, all kinds of fish today, man. It was crazy. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, bro. Stay tuned. Today was active bro active i went to the senti came back from senti back to mobe dropped off my gears jumped back in the ride and heading back out down to west now so i'm in west on the other in the grill now so i'm active yeah special k i've been busy it's just crazy crazy active yo definitely bless up special k Yeah man, definitely, definitely. Thank you guys for jumping in guys. Tap that like button please as you come in. Yeah man, so we just done it up Hanover now. And we're gonna exit this and enter into Negro in a second. The traffic starts now. This is where the bullshit starts. Because they put speed bumps and as you can see low profile vehicles only you can't run over those speed bumps that fast i'll tell you that much they made the whole seven mile stretch filled with nothing but speed bumps big up yourself big up yourself bro marvin big up yourself i'm gonna close the fuck right here that i need to get around big cars with low profile and they just don't drive up the pace man that's they want to drive low and they look good on the car don't get me wrong but i just think it's pretty dunce and the reason why i say that is because of the fact that the type of terrain that we have here the car you're, you're not setting the car up for that type of roads or i mean the car is not designed for that type of road to drive these roads with bumps and potholes and stuff Lollygagging when you play games. I ain't got time for you. Sit there playing games, hit shot behind dudes, bumper like you want to friggin' huh? <laughs> Team Chef Life, you know I am already Chef Life. <laughs> I just can't take the nonsense. Why would you be sitting up on somebody's butt? If you're gonna go around them, go around them. Don't be tailgating somebody, man. There's no need to do that. Good guys, going good on the stream, guys. Tap up that live, tap up that like button. And special K, it was a long day. I've been up since 4 a.m. this 3 a.m. 3:30 a.m. this morning. I got up and I got ready. Boom, boom. Put my gears in the car. Oh, set this up. My gears was car from yesterday because I already went out yesterday already on one trip. I haven't even touched that video yet in the editor. I haven't gotten even to review any. sign now woohoo we made it that's it we're about to cross the border you guys get to see some awesome views all right let me see what's going on here the lollygagging crew 
I hate the lolly jags. All right, here comes the Negro sign, guys. You guys want to see this? They they built a new sign for Negro, by the way. You guys get to see the new Negro sign. Here it goes, guys. Coming up, guys. Take a look to the left. Left of the screen, guys. There you go. That's our new Negro sign. Welcome to Negro, guys. We have made it. See that? Woo! -hoo! Up, up. That's that is it. We do this for real, Special K. <laughs> no invitation to this. We run around this island for real. <laughs> special K, we don't run, Special K. Point to point, tip to tip. We don't run joke. Anywhere, anytime, any place, anyhow. Jamaican shore fishing. But I did bring my gears with me just in case I decide when I'm leaving later, I go up to the pier and I can cast out real quick to see if I can pick up a night snook. But um, I did bring it with me just in case. And if my head takes me and I don't feel like driving home tonight, I'm gonna stay down here tonight. And I, and I got places, too many places down here to stay. So, yep, yep, that's what's up. So here goes the first set of speed bump. One, there you go. And they continue like every quarter mile you get a speed bump. So everybody slows down into one long line of traffic for seven miles straight. That shit sucks. So this is Rio, the first hotel is Rio that we just come up on. So you guys could see all these hotels on right guys. So I'm gonna have to turn this camera to the right. So I'll see the comment. No, the traffic is not crazy. It's just that what happened is that um, nobody wants to overtake nobody. And it's like nobody wants to go around anybody. And the line becomes longer and longer and longer and longer. And then it makes it even more difficult for you who wants to go around people to overtake three, four, five, six cars. It just sucks. You have to just go up one by one, two by two until you get up to the front. And then that makes you look like you're driving erotic. So it's like, it's um, damn, 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 I found the GPS on me. Hey guys, sorry about that. I kept on having that little. <laughs> now I got a little bit of rain on, and I went over to the, the GPS to check on the GPS where this damn place was because they wanted to meet us someplace different than what we originally um, said we were. so they send me um, a GPS location tracking for me to find them so I'm gonna find them real quick the best as I can see this is why you can't drop your vehicle low because of these they, they do this all over then these guys drop their vehicle ridiculously low sometimes and so this is what causes a lot of stretch because they can't drive fast at all or even drive with speed to go over the bumps at any anyways they have to literally stop and take their time and go over each individual one Come on. so this is adventure um the cool running adventure water park here on the left and this is that new hotel that they got on the right by the name of azul um, let me clean that window off so you guys can see it because i got a little bit of rain drizzling I don't know won't be able to get my drone up if that happens too much rain so this guy is like totally like, like, like freaking stop each time he reaches the speed bumps just, I have a semi SUV guys so crossover so it goes over these things like it's nothing Jam West. Wow. Yeah, every beach down here is packed. You see the sugar cane that they got burnt to the left, guys? A whole bunch of it.
please keep back up. See, look at this other beach. Check this out. This is another Negro beach. Holy shit. Look at that. Packed. Everybody. Everywhere. Look. Wow. Welcome to Westmoreland. Look, guys, look at the beach. Cram packed. I don't know why they choose to come down here talking about they want to go to the beach in the grill today. With all these damn people down here. I don't go to beaches like this when it's packed. You crazy? That's crazy, yo. Look at this. This is sick. It's not even a joke. Look, see? They stop! Look! <laughs> this guy's getting ready to go around him. This guy's getting ready to go around him, yo. That's hilarious. He's getting ready to go around him and the dude just moves off. They drop their cars, man. It's just, it just sucks. I don't normally drive this way. Sometimes I go through the bush and come around. This is all the hotel staff going home. Shift change. Couples. A couple other hotels down here in the grill. The grill is a seven mile stretch of hotels, guys. It's all tourists. A lot of touristy spots here. From this point going up, makes no sense even overtaking anybody you're just gonna have to just chill and just enjoy the rest of it let me just double check my gps yeah so sorry about that guys i had to check my gps again to make sure i haven't passed this place that they sent me now it's a totally different place than they originally sent me so it's all the way up top cab drivers looking for passengers and this dude knows that and they don't want to go around him look they're both one's going left and one's going right So this is Margaritaville that we're passing, and that is jam-packed, packed like a sardine can. And then we come up to, I think, I don't know if we passed Jungle yet, the nightclub. It's on the left up here someplace, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, on the left up here someplace. Should be. There's a whole bunch of places up here, guys. Okay. Adventure America, take, take care. All right, all right. I'm gonna talk to, oh, that seafood on drinks? I'm gonna talk to seafood on drinks earlier, man. She's all right, she wants to have King Sun still. She good to go. Stock. I know 
us up here someplace. Let me find here. I have to knock the raster off. All right, we're gonna stay on this side and let's go down on this side. I see the venue. I see it now. Ooh, is this here they parked? I see the van. Let me make sure I got them parked in here because now I see their vehicle now. Now it's a whole other ball game. That looks like their vehicle. Private entry for guests in bar restaurant patrons only hidden paradise. All right, let's go around to the Drifters Bar and see what happened because it looked like they parked in there. I'm searching, guys. I'm searching. This is crazy. These damn idiots down here. All right, here they go. Here goes the entrance to it. Let's go down here and find out if this is where they park, unless they parked on the restaurant side, because that's what it looks like, and not on this side. Oh boy, hear that damn music. I don't see their vehicle on this side, so I'm having a feeling that they parked on the other side. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Here comes somebody pulling out now. I'm definitely on the wrong side of the road. Uh-huh. So I'm trying to find out where my husband and them parked at. I know I seen the vehicle on the other side. I know I wasn't mistaken. I know I was not mistaken a while ago. So we ain't allowed to park down here. And this is the drifters bar, but why would they tell me to come over here? Jesus Christ. I hate when people give me miscommunication. All right, guys, give me a second. I'm gonna have to just friggin' figure my way out because they're, they're not here because I don't see their vehicle. And I don't like to park so far away from each other. That's not good. Oh boy. I think they're in the next parking lot on the other side. Fuck me, this road is bad. Oh man. Come in this dusty ass yard, boy. Dirty my car up. Yeah, I'm one for recognizing vehicles quickly, especially driving. I don't know I seen it next door. All right, cool. You gonna let me out? Thank you. Appreciate it. Tell me he's at some goddamn. See, they park all the way over here. They tell me at Drifters and now they're at Versa. See? V and D, alphabetical order. Bro, y'all gonna have my problem with me. Y'all gonna tell me at Drifters. I go over Drifters. Okay. Y'all tell me all at Drifters. Oh, no, yeah, so that was the, the issue. Parking? So we park over there. Why? No, no, we think that that was the place, but it's, it's next to Drifters. But this is where we went, fly high. Okay. But then it's next to Drifters, so we went over there, so that's what we use as the landmark. Ah, hold on a second. I'm a Jew, man, I call it. Oh, so you're flying. You're flying, right? Yeah, I want to catch some of the sunset too. Let me get my drone out. He's getting his drone out. I'm getting my drone out. So we're gonna have a drone fun. We have a drone party on this piece. Drone party. Damn, I don't want to bring that with me. I don't need. I... Oh, no, fried chicken. Jerk chicken. I'm leaving my house keys in the car. I don't need that. Huh? Huh? You ordered jerk chicken? No. Uh, yeah, but I got oven or something. Get a fried chicken. So I need to get pork. <laughs> He's brats that you don't eat pork, you know. <laughs> Man, why didn't you just order pork for me, bro? Hold up, hold up, bro. Let me get mine. Let me get mine. Let me get mine. Let me get mine. Let me get mine.
He's on his way. Yeah. I got my camera. Oh, I'm locked my car. Yeah, guys, we in real. We're trying to catch a sunset. I have to get my drone out. Let me see some of these comments. Um, Tony Don, big up yourself. Big up, big up yourself. Uh, Special K, big up yourself. Uh, let me show you guys what's going on. Because, actually, yeah. Other place is too crowded. Yeah, the other place was too crowded, so they, they had me running around from place to place, searching for them. Yeah, man. So, we're here on but the beach not spot. Good come easy, you know? Yeah, 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 bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't like the crowd either. Well, you seen all the beaches down there, how crowded they were? Yeah, yeah. No, Holy seriously. hell. Seriously. That was crazy. Coming in, I was like, whoa. Who's that, Yanni? Yeah, man, Yanni right now. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. It's my cousin Unique, people. Say hi. <laughs> so this is it, guys. Let me take you guys on the beach real quick. Um, actually, hold on a second, guys. Let me switch this up real quick. Get you guys up here while I put my, my fanny pack. You gonna fly now? No, 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 no. You wanna take off? I'm in one battery right now, but when the sunset comes down. Yeah, I want to let the sunset come down a bit. All right, how you doing? All right. All right, let me take you guys down the beach real quick, guys. I actually got socks and my slippers on, guys, because I didn't really feel like having sand in my toes again today. So it's crazy. Yeah! There was my daughter, guys. Sorry. So you guys can see the seven mile. So that's the seven mile that way. And seven miles that way. Yeah, Rich and Leo, special K, big up yourself. Yep. Upa Dream Island, big up yourself. Tony Dunn, big up yourself. Special K. He said, I put on my Jamaican accent, special K. You like when I shot Patwa, not you? It sounds sexy, not you? Special K. In special K? You like when I talk Patwa to you, don't. And whisper some Patwa things in the ears, don't. <laughs> Bless up yourself. Hey yeah, guys, so we got a guy gonna pull the boat out with a rope from this point on with a rope. So he's trying to pull that boat out. Stop! You gonna go in the water, boy? Let's see what's up. Hey guys! Yeah, I got my niece and my daughter over there. And I'm about to fly before it gets dark. So, I left my tripod in the car. I'll go get it in a minute. Let me go get my clothes. Yeah, hey guys, so it's on the, on the beach. That's it. Yeah, bro. So, it is what it is. Hold on a second, guys. I'm not trying to, trying to keep you guys up here while I do this. Get my drone out. That's the thing I love about this. I'm ready in a second to go. Well, I'm saying, all I got to do is power up and I'm ready to go. Huh? You're not going to stop because you love that Have to stay like about 10 feet away from you. Oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we interfere. Yeah, guys. So, getting set up here, guys. 
I just hope our signals don't cross. I've seen it happen before with other drones. John P. Adventures, big up yourself. Thank you for jumping in. Make sure you guys link up. I haven't gotten you guys yet. Who haven't gotten yet is a mod. Um, yes. Who's calling daddy? Alright guys, bless up yourself. Bring on and bless up yourself. Make sure you guys link up. Please stop it. Stop it live, guys. Definitely. Oh, sorry. Thank you, sir. I need a takeoff spot. It's in that 249 feet. Yo. Yeah, guys, I'm flying in the grill. Let me get my phone up here so you guys can see what's going on. Yeah. That's what's up, guys. Look at that. Yeah, so that's how far away I am, guys. Sitting at 300 and something feet already. I'm going down the line. Sitting at 1100, 1200 feet away. Yeah, man. Yes, Tony, we'll link again, man. Dream Island, we can link up the same way, man. I don't know that, guys. Yeah, guys, bless up. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this live, and while I get these photo shoots, and so I can pay totally concentration to this thing and not my phone. So thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you guys. One love from Jamaican Shore Fishing. Um, we're definitely out here, guys. Um, I got some hot, epic videos coming up to you. Stay tuned for those. All right. So Jamaican Shore Fishing. We are all here, one love.